Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to teach you today a variation of the plank exercise that is more intense. It's a higher intensity version of the plank exercise. Typically with the plank exercise, what you see happening in most programs and most gyms is holding this position, the body is straight, and just trying to see how long you can hold it where the load is all about keeping your body up, trying not to let the hips sag or let the hips go up, keeping the knees, shoulders, and hips all in the same line. And that can be a great exercise for developing some core stability and strength. This version kicks it up a notch. Once you have your alignment where it needs to be, once your alignment's where it needs to be, you can activate certain muscles isometrically and create a greater stimulus in the core. So we'll start off with the elbows and this variation will be a little bit in front of the shoulders. So they start off a couple of inches in front of the shoulders and then I come up to that plank position. So from this plank position, keeping everything in line, I'm going to squeeze the glutes and I'm also squeezing the legs together. I'm pushing the heels, the legs together, kind of zipping up the legs. Glutes are squeezed together. Hips are in line with the shoulders and knees. And then I'm going to pull the elbows back. I'm isometrically trying to pull the elbows toward the toes and the toes toward the elbows. So as I'm doing that, you see it becomes a lot more intense and it's a lot harder for me to talk. You don't want to try to talk while you're doing this. You do want to... Uh, breathe. Always breathing. You're pulling the elbows back. It's a very subtle movement. There's very little movement to it all. It's really just an activity in the muscles, pulling the toes towards the elbows and the elbows towards the toes, creating a lot more tension in the abdominals, therefore a lot more overload of those muscles and a better strength stimulus than typical um, planks. Got any benefit from this video? Leave a comment below. If you learned anything, leave a comment below. Got any questions? Leave a comment below. If you want more access to content not available on the blog, click the link that's connected to this video and you'll be able to sign up for that. Thank you.